Last year, Mercedes-Benz brought us an all-new C-Class Coupe powered by a small Turbo 4. And new for 2013 is an available AMG Sport Package Plus providing some extra sauciness to the C250. In many ways, this is really a different kind of car for Germany's more buttoned-up brand. This is one of their least expensive cars, styled aggressively with AMG Qs, energized by a punchy four-cylinder turbo and weighs less than any other two-door the company sells. The rear-drive layout, subcompact dimensions, and powertrain offerings ostensibly pit the C-Class Coupe against two others, the Hyundai Genesis Coupe and BMW 3 Series. Based on the sedan, but with a one-and-a-half-inch lower roofline, the C250 with the new Sport Package Plus adds an AMG racing-inspired front suspension featuring more rigid components and exclusive geometry, speed-sensitive sport steering, 18-inch AMG twin seven-spoke wheels, a performance-tuned exhaust with a sportier engine sound, upsized front and rear brakes, the largest of any non-AMG C-Class, a quicker shifting sport mode for the seven-speed auto with downshift rev matching, a rear lip spoiler, deeper front and rear aprons, and bolder side sill panels. Inside, there are exclusive design front sport seats with suede-like inserts, red seat belts, a flat bottom performance steering wheel with silver paddle shifters, and red top stitching throughout the cabin. At an added cost of only $2,800, it's a package that's surprisingly value priced and one I think most owners of a sporty coupe would surely appreciate. Though the 1.8 liter engine isn't going to wow anyone with its off the line power, once the turbo is spooled up and you're playing with the seven gears in sport mode, the C250 feels quick and nimble with paddle shifting control that while not particularly responsive, at least provides better control while allowing you to keep your hands on the wheel. Rated at an unspectacular 201 horsepower and 229 pound feet of torque, a 7.1 second 0 to 60 run is all you can expect. But the C250 hangs its hat not on sheer power, but in its ability to cut up a country road and put a smile on your face while doing it. Because this is the first C Coupe I've driven, I can't compare and contrast its drive to the non-sport model. But this car has that tightly sprung ride quality you'd expect and doesn't cross the line to uncomfortable. Its steering is direct and organic, and its handling safe and secure without any oversteer spookiness. At 3,538 pounds, it plays relatively small and eager during spirited driving and quiet and efficient in everyday driving. Rated at 22 MPG City, 31 Highway on premium. It's not an easy car to get in and out of, though the front seats handily slide out of the way to allow for reasonable access to the rear seats with sufficient breathing room for two more. There's also 12 cubic feet of trunk room, expandable into the rear. But if you're an owner who likes lots of goodies, be prepared to pay even more. With a sticker price approaching $45,000, you'd be hard pressed to find another vehicle at this price point that doesn't include such things as Intelligent Key, a backup cam, or a Navi. While those items and more are available, the fact that they don't find their way in here with this sticker is confounding. Stellar looks that drew admiration all week, a youthful exuberance with an excitable drive, and a sport package that delivers makes the C250 a compelling choice, though a more powerful four-cylinder motor and a lower overall price would make it even more so. For Drive Time, I'm Steve Hammes.